I'm Scott with Koenig, and I would like to tell you about load rating, probably because it's one of the more important things that you could ever consider when you're selecting your wheels. This is one of the things that's the most safety-oriented topics, with the exception of maybe threat engagement. And again, if you're not sure what that is, check the video out over here. But in an essence, to save your life, we are here, and we are bringing you the data on load rating. So let's talk about what load rating really is. Load rating is pretty simple. It's how much a wheel is statically rated to to be able to hold as far as weight. So number two, how do you find the appropriate load rating for your vehicle? A lot of people think that you take the gross vehicle weight and you divide by four. That is false. You actually are gonna look for the heaviest axle weight and divide by two. Now, you can find your axle weight right there on your door placard. If you open up your front door, it's usually plastered there right next to the gross vehicle weight, but we're gonna bypass that and we're gonna go right to the heaviest axle weight, divide by two, and that is the load rating that we're looking to exceed when we're purchasing our wheels. Why does it matter? Obviously by now I've kind of told you it's a safety thing. You should be able to figure out that it has to do with, is this wheel strong enough to hold the weight of my vehicle and the contents thereof. Here's the thing, and this is why it gets overlooked sometimes, especially in the aftermarket sense. People get really consumed with picking the lightest weight wheel for their vehicle, sometimes at the absolute detriment to not following the proper load rating for their vehicle. See, we can make a wheel as light as we want. We just keep lowering the load rating and all of a sudden, you don't have to worry about it. The weight will just come right down. Because remember, when we're building wheels, we're building wheels to set standards. We're building wheels to certain specifications. Now, on the manufacturer end, especially on Koenig's end, we're always thinking, what are our target vehicles? Where are our target ranges? And from there, we're computing what the load rating that we will need in certain bolt patterns will be. We'll go on to develop that wheel to first pass FEA, which is basically a computer simulated model of kind of what those forces will do to a wheel at certain load ratings. But then we're gonna make sure that we exceed certain set standards. You've heard of them before, TUV, VIA, JWL, and here in North America, SAE standard of J2530. Working with a wheel and tire professional is super key. And the good news is the more trusted of a retailer you're working with, uh, let's say you're buying wheels on Tire Rack or Discount Tire Direct, a lot of these companies are putting in the load rating when you select your vehicle. So they're actually saying if it doesn't exceed, if it doesn't exceed this number, then don't even show the wheel. The load rating is there as a safety thing. It's really a safety concern. And if you don't choose the proper wheel for your vehicle, if it's not properly load rated for the weight that you need on your vehicle, well, what's gonna happen, you're going to start to see that wheel fail prematurely. Now, because we're an aftermarket company and I wanna be really specific about this, there is one other thing that has to do with load rating that's kind of unspoken about, and that has to do kind of with thrust load or you know, when you put load transfer uh, onto corners. Now, where would this happen? Most of the time, this is gonna happen in road racing where you're gonna use super grippy tires, you're gonna go into a turn, and you're gonna have significant arrow. So that arrow is actually creating more force down on the vehicle, right? Think about these things when you're picking your wheels because at the end of the day, uh, downforce is gonna play into putting extra weight onto the vehicle. With that said, when you're loaded up into a turn, right? You turn to the right, what happens to all the weight of the vehicle? It goes to the left. You brake, what happens to all the weight of the vehicle? Runs to the front. So what we're trying to make sure is that we have a properly load rated wheel in excess of kind of what we think we need. And sometimes on the racing side, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do that math. Try to figure out kind of what you really need and make sure that you're picking the proper wheel. Sometimes this can be an issue, sometimes it's not, but just understand that wheels are statically rated. Meaning that if, if the vehicle's standing there on its own, not doing anything. So as soon as you go and start putting extra force on it, really grippy tires that have, you know, different uh, tread wear uh, numbers, and you go into putting things like aero or extra force or really uh, changing the way the vehicle responds, all these things can change the effect of how much load is being put onto a wheel. Be conscious of it, try to compute it, 
uh, make sure you're safe out there. That's kind of uh, the big piece of the puzzle here. My friends, thank you for joining us here. We just wanna make sure you're safe. We're trying to bring you the information that maybe you just don't quite get there in the, the good old newspaper anymore. And we wanna make sure that you're picking the right wheels. If you have any questions, throw them down below. You could always message us, email us. Uh, you could probably send a paper airplane, maybe one of those little doves, carrier pigeons, I think they're called. Pigeons. Anyhow, we're here. You can get a hold of us. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll catch you in the next one.